This is us leaving Northern Ireland and crossing into Ireland and I said Welcome to Ireland! But before that Good morning Ireland! This is me using my hand to pretend I'm opening my eyes And this is me pretending to leave my bed for the first time in the morning Cut. Oh my god! What? A natural landing. Then I pretend to leave my room. Pretend to shower with my slippers on. Pretend to leave my room again for good. Set up the camera and pretend to walk down the stairs. Loading up our luggage for real. And here begins our 3 hour road trip In the car for no reason I decided to say Let's go to Ireland This is the moment when we crossed into Ireland It was so epic <laughs> After about two hours, we hit one of the toll stations. Hi there. Here you go. And then we take a quick break, and it's time for time for petrol. I think we covered at least um, 200 plus kilometers. And after about three hours of driving, we finally arrive at Glendalough. Glendalough or Glendalough. Over the you page. This place is founded by St. Kevin in the late 6th or early 7th century AD. You can boo all you want, but here's the thing. Our so this is the St. Kevin's St. Kevin. So this is the St. Kevin Church or the kitchen. It's built in about 1,100 years or shortly after, around there. It's the only... What? It's the only... It's the only stone-roofed building to survive at Glendalow. Mm. <laughs> I may not be very... Mm. I may not be very accurate, la, but from... Okay, I may not be very accurate, but what I read up on Summarize a very short one is this guy called Saint Kevin. He founded this place because he wanted to retreat yeah, to from the world, boy. so he don't have any connection, contact with the world. So he wanted to stay Kevin himself here, okay. secluded. Then after that, uh, after a while, there's a few followers that really wanted to you. learn his way of living. Then came over and built this settlement over here. Yeah, so this is a very very brief history of this place. So this is the bell tower. So there will be a ladder over here. Written on the website lah, huh? that they will climb up. Then at the top there is the bell. Then they will ring for the to summon the monks over here for their prayers. Quite like, uh at that point in time can they can be able to build something so big and round. Honestly I don't know how they do it. No idea. Can I ask what's the donor uh, kebab? It's it's like pieces of lamb in a pit. It's where? Oh, wow. Okay, can we have one of one them? One donor? And then one hot dog. And a hot dog. Yeah. On the hot dog, do you like onion, ketchup, mustard? Oh yeah. Everything That's on the yeah. <laughs> This Glendalough Monastic Settlement is pretty interesting uh, but it's, it can be quite a touristy spot uh, depending on the time that you come here I guess Yeah Yeah But uh, yeah, pretty interesting After close to 2 hours of driving, we arrive at Kilkenny Castle 12th century Kilkenny Castle Castle Tour Kilkenny Castle is a significant castle built in the 12th The Chinese withdrawing room uh, What was that? Anyway so yeah, as you can see in this room, the walls are very The state dining room What the hell? Did you guys, did you guys hear that? Anyway So yeah, this, this was the formal dining room in the 18th The entrance hall Who the hell is cutting me off? So yeah, check out this black and white stone floor late in the 19th century And this Italian marble table that nobody bought during an auction and it was The tapestry room Okay, I'm gonna say it faster So the tapestry room is in the shape of a The grand staircase the private staircase and the Moorish staircase. Okay, I've got to stay calm. Right now we're in the Chinese bedroom. <laughs> I think I know who is doing this. It's become clearer and clearer now that I'm in the picture gallery. The person who's doing this to me is. <laughs> 
Just joking. Lol. Take it easy and have a great day. So that pretty much does it for our Kilkenny Castle tour. And Paige was once again in love with the Irish people. <gasps> so friendly! Oh my god, so handsome and so friendly, so nice. Ooh. Just the Euro $200, it's a, it's a nightmare. You have, if you want to use it, right? no shops will accept it except for those very big ones or if you spend like above 100 plus. So he just randomly went to this store. Can we change 600? And then he just offered to change with us the all of the $600 Euro. Makes my life easier anyway. <laughs> Super helpful, like honestly, if it's me, right, I'll be like, okay, maybe I'll help out like 200. He's, he's like, okay. Like 600, okay. I'll see. Goodness gracious me, bless his heart and soul. Uh, these people are so friendly yeah, and chill. Then we get to Super Value to get our groceries, drive an hour, and arrive at our Airbnb. Look at that. This is our Airbnb. Then we park our car and meet our wonderful host. I'm Thank Marcus. you so much. I'm John. After some lovely and interesting conversations, we unload our heavy luggage. So nice. And take our time to appreciate our lovely accommodation. This is so nice. Wow. Bedroom number one, bedroom number two, and a nice pantry area. So yeah, that's it for this video. Unless you want to follow us to do laundry. So yeah, so I will just press this button, put them into the washing machine, and just sit quietly and watch until they are done. Seriously, there's nothing else. I got no more footage to show you. But I can show you what's coming up. In the next morning, we'll be saying goodbye to our lovely host, driving a short journey to the Rock of Cashel, where we'll be seeing a super big black crow, arriving in Cork in Cork, arriving at Blarney Castle, and kissing the Blarney Stone. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one.